after six months of being on YouTube, here we are. <laughs> Today, I bring you a gist of my experiences so far, challenges, triumphs, and future updates. Are you ready? Grab a seat and let's go. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Somi and this is my corner. If this is your first time on this channel, you are so welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you so far so good how the journey has been for me as a YouTube content creator in the last six months. I'm going to share my experiences with you. I'm going to share the challenges I've encountered so far. I'm going to share with you how I overcame them. I'm going to share with you the triumphs I've had, my highlights, and of course, I'm going to share with you future updates that you need to know moving forward. What has been my experience so far? It has been an amazing journey being a YouTube content creator. I am, yes, a content creator, but majoring on YouTube, that is why I say YouTube content creator, I have learned a lot. I have seen some things. <laughs> Part of my experience so far is the fact that I get to see myself do what I love to do and then see myself grow in it. I am a lover of public speaking. I love the camera. I am not camera shy. I like to talk about faith, relationship, lifestyle. I like to impact other lives. I like to be a blessing to someone else. I like to give advice, give counsel. <laughs> so being able to have my own corner, my own space, where I can just literally be myself and equally watch myself grow in it is an amazing experience. I also love the fact that I can bring a project to life. The process of creating a video is not a child's play from getting ideas to scripting keyword research to filming to editing to publishing and to promoting the fact that i can do all of that and bring the project to life and you get to see it and appreciate it is an amazing experience for me also having the knowledge of so many skills and <laughs> being a content creator i have the skill of editing filming I have the skill of copywriting. I have the, the skill of scripting. Just being knowledgeable about these different content creation skills. And of course, life skills is just amazing. In this journey also, I'm learning to cultivate self-discipline because I am a one-man brand right now. So I have to get myself to do the things I need to do. So I'm cultivating self-discipline. I'm also mastering the act of multitasking. Not like I don't know how to do it before, but I am becoming a pro. <laughs> day. I'm also discovering new things every day because every day there's something I am learning. There's something I am discovering. I'm also learning how to maximize the resources I have available at my disposal to get the job done. So yes, it's been an amazing experience thus far. My highlights, what has been my highlights in this journey? <laughs> Hitting 1,000 subscribers in just 19 days of officially launching the YouTube channel. It was something else. It, was, it made me speechless. It made me scream. I'm like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> because... I didn't know I was going to get this far. If you've watched the previous videos, particularly the first four videos, you would hear me say things like, I was so afraid of what people are going to say, how people are going to receive me, if I'm going to do well. So all of those fears, I didn't see them anymore. Immediately I started and boom, hitting 1,000 subscribers in 19 days came like... It was unexpected. Another highlight for me is the process of editing, guys. I know this may sound like, Somi, are you serious? Yes. The fact that I can edit my videos by myself, I can discover new tricks and tips and hacks that I can impute inside of my video while editing. The fact that I, 
I now see that. Oh, Sumi, I think you love editing, even though it's, it's plenty of work. That is a major highlight for me. The process of editing my videos, all the things that go into it, the cutting, the trimming, the filters, the color grading, everything, everything about editing. It, it's a highlight for me. <laughs> and of course, the end product of the video when i have done all the editing all the trimming the cutting the transitions the audio the background the b-roll footages everything when i've poured out everything into the editing and then the final product comes out <sighs> i feel proud of myself i feel excited i'm glad because i just brought something to life i just brought a project to life and of course the fact that we are now part of the youtube partnership program is a major highlight you know the fact that this channel is now monetized like <laughs> you see god has been faithful and i am so so excited to share this news with you now let's talk about the challenges number one of them is the fact that i get to do all the work i mean all the work inside of my phone i do all the filming all the editing the publish anything you can think of in relation to content creation i do it on my phone and it is not a child's play editing on its own is an amazing job i give it to every editor out there i mean video editors out there i celebrate you editing is work on its own now to edit on a mobile phone is a whole lot of work having to do all of this work inside of my mobile device is not easy at all another challenge is not having some of the tools or equipment that i i feel like i need right now maybe the the lights the mic the tripod stand and every other necessary equipment not having the best i think or i feel like i need right now and of course we have the power supply challenge when you want to create a video and there is no light there's no power supply is a lot of stress as a nigerian content creator you would know what i'm talking about then you would have to fall back to plan b of running a generator and generator noise generator sound is not something you want to be hearing in your videos right so the generator noise is already an annoying issue then the noises from people outside maybe your neighborhood your compound people that can be a lot in overcoming these challenges i had to first of all make do with what i have right now the tools that i have the light that i have the mic that i have the tripod stand that i have i have to make the most out of it and not complain and not say oh because i don't have this i'm not gonna do this and secondly i had to learn to maximize my phone to get the results that i want yes it can be stressful editing on the phone but i have to do it for the meantime very soon of course we're gonna get a laptop god is going to make that happen we're gonna get a laptop and also we're gonna graduate into having a larger screen maybe a monitor or something is step by step so in this phase that i am in this stage that i am i would need to learn how to make do with what i have when it comes to the power supply issue fuming during the day is my escape route even though during the day i have noise from outside vehicles and the rest of that but there is always a way out so i am always going with that way out <laughs> maybe close up all the windows and use my ring light or turn on the generator close up all the windows 
and just stay indoors. Whichever way, content must be created. So far, so good. Do we continue or do we take a break or do we quit? You should know the answer by now. There is no quitting. There is no quitting. It's not even up to one year. This is just six months. So we can't even be talking about quitting or giving up or taking a break. The break that we had weeks back was unexpected, was unplanned. So there is nothing like, oh, we're not going to do this anymore. We are quitting. We're taking a break. We just got started. It's not even up to one year. So I'm going to encourage you. If you have started out on something this year and midway is looking like it's not working, maybe you started out a business, you started out with a job, you started out with your academics, whatever it is that you kickstarted this year and it's looking like it's not working or whatever it is that you just begun in the middle of this year and already you're feeling like, are you sure this thing is going to work? Are you sure this thing is for me? I'm advising you to not quit. I'm advising you to not give up. Just give it at least a year. Then at the end of a year, you can now review and say, it worked, it's going to work, or it's not working. Then you take the other step of either continuing or taking a break or quitting it entirely. But you will know that I am not a fan of you quitting. Giving up is not an option. Yes, you might stop that particular one that you feel like it's not working. Start another one. Yeah. There is so much to be done. There is so much I haven't even done. I'm just starting. I'm just scratching the surface. I've not even delved deeper into being a YouTuber or a content creator or into building this brand of mine. There's no room for quitting. There's more impact to be made. There are more lives to be touched, more money to be made, more souls to be worn. We're not quitting. So please don't even try to quit right now. Don't try it. Don't try it. The enemy wants you to quit and regret your life, but don't even quit. Moving forward, these are some of the things that are coming up on the channel. I will be exploring posting two videos a week i i don't know how that's going to happen but whichever way i have put some structures on ground i've built some strategy that i feel or believe that will help me to achieve what i want to do every week also i'll be posting three youtube shorts so look out for those shirts and four community posts just so that i can stay in touch with you and because our channel is monetized i would love you to pay a little attention to watching the ads that are displayed on the video before the video starts in the middle of the video and after the video it is also your way of helping the channel grow and also pay attention to your engagements on the videos i mean the likes the comments the shares the subscribe this helps to tell YouTube that the channel and the videos on the channel are valuable. Like you know, I would love to hear your content ideas. I would love to hear you tell me ideas you would love us to explore on the channel moving forward. And by month end, I would love the channel to hit 3,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this it will serve as a cue to hit the subscribe button right now and you can take it a step further by turning on your post notification bell so that you will be alerted once the next video is published if you haven't seen the other video where i shared about overcoming challenges and embracing hope and the things that made me unstable and away from youtube for a while then you need to click the link in the description box it will lead you straight to that video watch out for the video next week it will be a bts a behind the scene footage of the previous videos i have made on this channel you would have a good laugh so turn on your post notification bell right now so that you will be alerted once it drops 
thank you so much for being a part of this video today don't forget to like it don't forget to share don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and i will see you next week bye, -bye.